Hello my friends, hello my subscribers, welcome my new viewers. In this tutorial I will show you how I did this intro. I watched Harry Potter again and of course this is production Warner Bros. I decided to do something similar intro from Harry Potter. I love this intro Warner Bros. Uh, I love this atmosphere of mystery so I decided to do something similar and in this tutorial I will show you my technique, my composition, so run fusion, let's get started. My friends, everyone who supports my channel development on patreon.com, in paypal, everyone who supports my channel, one dollar, three dollars, five dollars, maybe ten dollars, it depends to your budget, will get this project. I will send you this project if you support my channel and I hope you join to my team in patreon.com. If you join to my team, I will receive all my stuff. You may send me a message, maybe speak uh, in Zoom. So thank you very much. Okay, look at my scene. This is my scene and of course you see background of my scene. This is picture, picture with alpha channel. For example, this is photo mountains with alpha channel. This is background. This is background. This is photo with clouds. This is the same photo with alpha channel and the same photo with alpha channel. So this is structure of my background, our, our scene. So I think it's understandable, but I will show you the first, I will show you how I create this shield. And what is interesting, you may create your favorite shapes in Illustrator because this shape of shield I create exactly in Illustrator and export as SVG file and this SVG file I import to Fusion and add new shader and add this extrusion. So for example, I import SVG file. I have this shape in my disk. So file import SVG and SVG file, we have SVG file. This is my SVG, maybe I ungrope this object. So this polygon, this shape is from Illustrator. This is my first version of my shield. This is this shield. So I decided I add hole in this place. So I copy, copy this polygon paste, change paint mode to subtract and of course we need change scale. So we have this structure, this is a structure, this is my shield, this is my shield. But we need to add this extrusion, you see. How I did this extrusion, of course we need use displacer 3, but my shield is also bend. So we need bend and displace 3D. So now how I create this object, I need my friend texture. Uh, I have a very nice texture stone. This is my texture. So I check off this element and connect my shape, my shape my polygons, my polyline to this new texture. So I have this element, this element. Now I connect this object to Cook Torrens shader, Cook Torrens, because Cook Torrens give me possibility create um, nice shader, nice stone shader. So I have this shader, okay? Cook Torrens, I use Cook Torrens. Now we connect to Cook Torrens image plane 3D. So in th at this time we achieve this element. 
Next, what we sh what shall we do uh, next? Of course, we must add Bender. Bender. So remember your image plane 3D need a, a more subdivision. I, for example, 200 because then we add displacer 3D. Okay, 200 is good value for this shape. Uh, Bender, my friend Bender, I set to X axis and of course we change this parameters. So I have this, this element, okay? I have this. Now we need to create extrusion. This extrusion, my friend, okay? This extrusion. How I did this extrusion? Of course, we need displacer 3D and you know, displacer 3D need mask. So displacer 3D need mask. How I create mask to displacer? You may copy this element, this element, and thanks for this element, you may create nice mask. A nice mask because uh, if you add mat control, mat control, my friend, in mat control, change uh, in this place to alpha. Look at this. Mat control give you possibility manipulation your alpha channel. So if you change this value, you see how change your alpha channel, okay? So thanks for this, you may connect this object to Displacer 3D and in Displacer 3D, you of course change channel to alpha. Of course, you may change position and of course we achieve this extrusion. Now we must add light. But of course, change color in my cook torrents, for example, maybe this is okay. And of course we need bump. So if you have bump, we may use this texture. This is very good texture to create bump map. So I connect this texture to my bump map and my bump map to cook torrents. So we have now this structure bump map of course set to maybe five you achieve better result we have this effect of course we need light so for example point light this is only tutorial so if i connect light light uh, we of course need merge 3d connect light and look at this i think it looks amazing pretty cool so maybe change color of lights you see uh, sometimes i change point light intensity and decay tape to linear so you may achieve very nice effect i think it is understandable you know what i mean Okay, very nice. So in this technique, I create shield. Now I will show you how I create this amazing shader skull. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, my friends, uh, about my skull, about shader, which I connect to skull. Shield is created from Cook Torrens, but skull, this is word shader but uh, word shader use the same texture which i connect to my shield but look at my animation at the beginning my skull looks like this but then we see this amazing pattern amazing pattern so i achieve this pattern thanks for word and thanks to word material and thanks for my friend fast noise maybe i show you my shader exactly this is this shader this is this shader of course 
uh, my skull is alembic file, but we talk about shader. This is my shader and you see um, the first maybe, uh, this is my diffusion. This is the same texture which I connect to my shield, but uh, I connect color corrector because I change a little color in my texture. This is diffusion, this is understandable. So important is this fast noise. This fast noise, uh, thanks for this fast noise, I achieve this pattern. Okay, you see? Thanks for this, I achieved this pattern. This is my specular intensity material, okay? And of course, the same fast noise, I connect to bump. I connect to bump. Thanks for this, I achieved this, uh, this uh, fragment, this displays. So next fast noise, this is my specular color material. This is specular color material. And this fast noise, is uh, my friend, I set these parameters, CIF rate 0 0.126. This continues, check on, this is my specular color material. So what is important? Word have the same texture, this is texture, this is diffusion. This is specular intensity material, this is specular color material, this is my shader and I achieve this amazing skull. Of course, my skull have animated intensity specular, tak? Yes, specular intensity is animated. At the beginning of my animation, my intensity is zero, then this value grow up. Okay, thanks for this, I achieved this amazing pattern, amazing effect. So uh, what is important, look at if I check off my fast noise, this fast noise, specular intensity material, look at this. Okay, so I think it's understandable. Of course, only word shader give you possibility this anisotropy. I think it's understandable, you know what I mean. I connect these parameters so in this technique, I achieve this amazing effect with my skull. This skull, of course, is Alembic file. Okay, now I'll show you how I create this text. How I create this text, amazing text. Text, of course, use the same texture uh, which I connect to my skull, but texture is Alembic, but my friend, uh, what's important? I use Alembic, but you may use only Text3D. Text3D is okay, it's pretty cool, and you, for example, if you have Text3D, for example, Text3D, so for example, sorry, it will be Wonderland, we may use the same bender and in bender <coughs> in matter of course we we need we must check group object okay so we have this element maybe i connect change this add new add new my friend merge 3d okay this is very big change scale you know i use in my scene alembic file because i would i like work in 3d dimensional software but uh, it's also okay and if we add extrusion we may achieve a very nice effect so you know i use in my project Alembic, I like use Alembic. You may use Text3D in Fusion. So you may, remember, you may use SVG file. You may use Text3D and uh, you know how to create this shield, how create shader. Of course, in my project, I use my friend, um, the particle system. Particle system, um, I have particle system. Maybe uh, I check 
on, I check on my particle system. This is my particle system. Maybe I ungroup this object. So in my particle system, I connect, I use p spawn. I think it's easy. My emitter use point and if you if you won't achieve this effect remember if you use point add uh, this uh, check on this sub pixel render it because if you don't check of the check on this object your particle mm, will be not visible in your render so i think it's understandable of course i use my friend vortex turbulence uh, of course, I use my friend uh, Fog 3D, Soft Clip and Highlights. Thanks for this, I achieved this amazing intro. It's all in this tutorial. Uh, I think uh, you will be use this technique with SVG file. It's amazing you may import SVG file from Illustrator because many of us know this software. Many of us work in Illustrator. Thank you very much for watching. I will be glad if you support my channel development. I will be glad if you subscribe my channel and leave a comment. See you in the next tutorial.